Hi, today I'm going to talk about complex numbers through a story. Now, here's you. You live in a magical kingdom uh, where, you know, things tend to happen fairly mathematically, okay? Um, if there's a rule, it has to be followed to the letter. Uh, and you are a humble apple farmer. Okay? Um, rules are set by His Majesty, the Glorious King. Uh, and, you know, the King, he doesn't really care about the practicality of his rules. You know, he just wants to live in his castle having a good time um so one year you grow five apples D delicious delicious apples and everyone loves them uh and you sell one of them in that one particular harvest so five minus one equals four now the king goes, uh, I need, I'm going to need the square root of that in taxes. Because, you know, why should the king have to starve when uh, you have apples that you can give him? So you go, okay, you know, I don't want to have my head cut off. I will give you the square root of four equals two. So let's just, let's just think for a second. This is algebra, right? We're answering questions. We've got our question and then our answer immediately after. Okay, the square root of four is two. So the king gets, the king gets two apples, you keep two, and the person you sold to has one until they give it away in tax. So actually buying one apple was not a good idea. Um, let's go over a new scenario. The next year, you, before your, before your harvest comes through, you say, you tell someone that you will sell them three delicious apples. And you make a contract. Okay? You, you say, you know, I know. I'm going to have five apples. You know, I've expanded my business. I've got two trees now. Um, so there's no way I could possibly make any less than five apples. But of course, you do. And you make two apples. And, I mean, you made a contract. And because of the way this country works, two minus three equals minus one, you now have minus one apples. There's no other way, right? You have to give the full three apples. And this is still algebra. We've got the question, we've got the answer, okay? Now the answer is a little weird now. It's not a nice number like that, it's minus one. You can't hold minus one apples, but yet you as the farmer still definitely have minus one apples because you gave three away and you only had two. Now the king goes, feed me. And he says, well, I don't care. He says, I still need the square root of minus one apples in tax. But, so what is the square root of a negative number? Well, the square root is two numbers that times together to make the number. And we can't have that for a negative number, right? Because... A negative times a negative is a positive. And a negative times a positive is a negative. But these two numbers must be different because one's negative and one's positive. So we, so, you know, you as a farmer, you're kind of struggling with this idea. But then you go, wait a minute, we were using algebra before. Why don't I use algebra again? So let's call 
a number i squared equals minus one right so something squared is minus one our square root squared is minus one and now let's just square root both sides i equals the square root of minus one and then you think for a moment and you go eureka that's it i will give the king i apples the king gets i i have minus one minus i and the person i sold to has three and everyone's happy the rules are followed exactly to plan i we just have found out you know we just derived it it's definitely equal to the square root of minus one and the king goes yeah okay i can't argue with that and everyone's happy but what actually happened here so we have a problem minus one apples how do we hold that you know how do we how, we can't really own the minus one apples maybe it's more like an iou or maybe it's more like the answer to when we start counting backwards right negative numbers when we count back far enough that's what we get and that's the only thing they are we can't hold a negative number we can't feel a negative number in the same way we can three apples minus one apples doesn't make sense But yet, it's the answer to this question. 3 minus 2 in this case, negative 1. Uh, 2 minus 3, negative 1. So how did we give the king i apples? i being the square root of minus 1. Well, i is just the answer to this question. And that's the only way we can think about it. We can't feel a complex number or touch a complex number, or an imaginary number. But yet, we can do maths with it. We can subtract it, and add it, and square root it, and multiply it. So, how does a mathematician think about the square root of i? If I was going to do, you know, a tax document, or you, as the farmer, what would you do? Well... Let's have a li little look at a number line. Okay. And let's think about what we originally had on our number line before we started um, selling off more apples than we had. We had five apples. We had a number line that went on and on, up and up in terms of apples. Okay. And then we sort of discovered negative numbers, negative one, negative two, going backwards. And we could have negative apples, and that was fine. So how do we think about complex or imaginary apples? Well, let's turn this number line into what's called a number plane, okay? We have i apples and two i apples. And we can also have negative i apples, as we saw by the number of apples we had left after the king took his tax. So we are going to do a tax diagram. We started off with how many apples? Two apples. And that's here on the number line. And we gave away three of them. And now we have three apples. Um, now we have minus one apples, and someone else has three apples. Um, and then the king took his tax. Tax. And that left us with minus one, minus i apples. Right here. Yeah, we've got minus one this way, and minus i down here. And that's what a complex number is. It's just
just the answer to the question. If someone, if you know, if the king is bearing down on you, he uh, he needs his apples to survive. You just tell him. You just give him eye apples, minus eye apples, two eye apples. Doesn't matter. And that was a very complex story.